And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my fid underneath these last three white cords, one, two, three, and I'm going to poke it down through the middle of the bracelet, basically in between these two centre cords here that go down the middle of the bracelet, out the other side. I know it's a blue fid and it's a bit hard to see, but it's the only colour fid that I've got for this. Pull the cord all the way through. And what I'm actually going to do at the end, I'm going to do a little overhand knot. And that is a stopper knot and that will stop the cord going through the middle boom there you go right flip it over the cord should be sticking out of the top like that the very first piece that goes at horizontal it goes over there now what we can do bring the cord like that and with the fid, we're going to poke it underneath that very first horizontal bit. Like that. There we go. I'm trying to do this and make sure that I don't do it outside the camera. Otherwise it's pointless me showing you, isn't it? Like that. Let me do it again. Bring the cord over to the left hand side like that. And then make sure when you poke the needle through, it is to the right hand side of that cord. Like that, can you see? So poke it through again. And we basically I'm going to be doing this three times now when you pull it up you don't have to pull it but it has to be goldilocks not too tight not too loose but just right and let me do it again poke it through like that Pull the cord out. I found to get the best result, you kind of just place it where you want it to be and give it, give it a tug. One, two, three. We do four, we'll do it four times. Sometimes it's a bit fiddly to do. Come on. Now, if it's a bit too loose, like I've done it there, you can actually take the slack out. In fact, I'm going to use my tool. So I've done it four times across. Use my tool so you can see. One, two, three, four. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the cord over to the to the left hand side again. And we're going to put it across this cord here. That's pointing diagonally like that. 
So basically we're going to work our way down the bracelet. This is the first chord that goes diagonally like that. The next one goes that way. We don't want that one. We want this one. Then we're going to miss that one and do this one. So we're basically going down the bracelet like that. Okay. So I've got my chord. Put it over to the left hand side. And then I'm going to poke it. There's the first one diagonal. Don't do that one. Do this one. Poke it on the knee. Like that. And just be careful. Just, you know, you don't have to rush this at all. I did this in front of the telly the other night. Actually, I was watching Marvel film. It was marvellous. Like that. And do it again. Underneath. Yeah, the key is in the tightening you want it tight enough you want it consistent basically so they all just kind of sit there together like that and basically that is all you need to do When you pull it together, just kind of make sure it just sits close. It just sits there, just nicely. That's all you need to do. Bring it back over. Do it again. Like that. And then you, you can just, you know, pull that a bit tighter, adjust it a little bit until it gets like that, just kind of nice. But basically you just keep going all the way down the bracelet until the end. Right, so I'm at the very end of the bracelet and all I'm doing is a tight squeeze, but I'm poking I'm doing exactly what I've done before. I've wrapped it around four times and then I'm poking it down through the center in between the two center cords that go down the middle, like that. Pull it out. Like that, I kind of squidge it all up so it looks nice. And on the other side, I'm just going to poke the fid down through a couple of these loops here. And let's do three again, shall we? Like that. I'm just going to snip and singe, put that in that hole. Right, so there you go. That is your Z stitching on a cobra weave. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Be like the other three and a half thousand subscribers. Don't forget to give us a like down below. And YouTube would like you to watch that video there. So, what are you waiting for? Off you go. Bye.